Visco. Hi everyone and welcome to the Visco channel. In today's video, I'll be guiding you through the setup of a standalone time and attendance system using the DSK1T321 series. The specific model I'll be working with is the DSK1T321 MFWX. This terminal supports multiple authentication methods including fingerprint recognition, facial recognition, card access, and pin access making it a versatile choice for different security and attendance tracking needs. One key feature of this model is that it supports Wi-Fi connectivity, allows for a wireless setup. However, it's important to note that not all DSK1T321 series models come with Wi-Fi capabilities. So be sure to check your device specifications before proceeding. The method I'll be demonstrating today is the most basic way to set up a time and attendance without relying on Hikvision software such as IVMS or HCSC. This approach is particularly useful in locations where network infrastructure is limited or where you prefer a simple cable-free installation. Instead of running Ethernet cables for network access, you will only need to provide power to the terminal either by connecting it to a power source via a power cable or using the terminal's power adapter. By the end of this video, you will have a fully functional time and attendance system that operates independently without requiring additional software or complicated configurations. So let's dive right into the time and attendance setup process and get started. So for the setup of the time and attendance in the device, firstly you have to enter to the admin settings. So you just want to hold OK button for around 3 seconds. And then it will ask you to authenticate by using face, card or fingerprint. You can also use by entering password, but I will recommend you to use face, card or fingerprint because it's much faster to enter the admin setting. So I already set my fingerprint as an admin. So I just authenticate by using my fingerprint right here. So first thing you want to look in the admin setting is the department management. So I click on this. You can either add on a new department or you can use the existing department list such as company, admin, sales, financial, production, processing, R&D department. This is the default department list. So next, go into the authentication settings, terminal authentication method and select the type of credential you want to use. In this case, I use the single credential. You can also use the multiple credential if you want the higher security levels for your access control. So in this case, the method of authentication method is either face, fingerprint, card or password. You can use the either one of the authentication method. For example, if you use the multiple credential, in this case, you will need to enter your face and fingerprint and card together to enter the specific access point. And also, it is important to take note that the password mode of the device, you will need, you will need to set to the device set personal pin so that the pin is set on the device. Next, you want to add a person in the user setting. So as you can see, I already add my person with my face, fingerprint, card and also pin number. And I already set my department is the company department. After you add a person, go to local TNA, enable the local TNA setting, go to shift management. So as you can see, you can add up to three durations and also a overtime work period. You can, you can also set two different types of shift. Let's say if you have morning shift and night shift. So I set my first shift as morning shift, which is 8 p.m. 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. And I set my second shift to be night shift, which is 4 p.m. until 11 p.m. So next, go to schedule, shift schedule list, shift schedule 1. So the department selected will be company, but you can also select by person. 
so let's say just now I have my two different shift which is morning shift and night shift and then I want my morning shift to be Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday so Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday I press 1 which indicates my first shift and then I want my night shift to be Thursday and Friday so I press 2 which means it will select the second shift which I already set just now from 4 p.m. until 11 p.m. as my night shift but by default you can just use the first shift if you have only one shift per week you can also set the attendance rule so you can mark as late if you check it late for 60 minutes which is one hour but the maximum duration you can set it is 120 minutes which is two hours you can also mark as early leave if the person check out early for two hours is the maximum duration There is also another special feature about this device where you can show your attendance record when you check in. So you can go to system settings, preference and enable this function. So when you check in, it should show the attendance record for the week. So next, to get the report, you will need to plug in your pen drive to this device. And then go to the attendance report. You should be able to select one of the reports as you can see right here. So there are different types of report such as total report, attendance record, summary report, abnormal attendance, shift schedule, and attendance card. So you can export each one of these to your pen drive. So you will need to select the start date, select 1st of February, and then the end date, which is 28th of February. And then it will export. Same thing for attendance record. So now I'm going to plug in this pen drive in my laptop and see the format of the report. So now I'm going to show the format of the report that I already exported from the device. So these are the reports. Firstly is the attendance card report. So as you can see, this is the format of the attendance card report from the K1T321 device. For the attendance schedule, you can see the shift schedule list for each person. Then we also have the abnormal attendance which shows you which person has an abnormal attendance for the month. And then we have the attendance summary which will summarize the attendance report for the month. We also have the attendance record which shows the transaction for each check-in check-out period. So the last format is the total time card. 
which shows the total work duration of the person. And that's it. You have now successfully set up the DSK1T321 as a standalone time and attendance system. So with everything configured, tracking attendance is now easier and more efficient. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out on future guides. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments below and Visco will be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Visco.